This is a Telecaster I've had for about 11 or 12 years, and I got kind of bored with the color, so I wanted to repaint it, and which was more of a task than I thought it would be. Um, but I wanted to kind of make it more of a 50s uh, look and feel, and so I went with a classic color. It was actually called Coral, but it ended up looking more true orange, and so I call it my fry sauce telly, because uh, it looks like the fry sauce you can dip your french fries in. Yeah, I'd never repainted a guitar before, so it was my first time at it, so um, I bought the nitrocellulose lacquer just in the can and was doing it like that and sanding between layers and then once you got to the, uh, the top uh, clear coat is when it got more interesting. Just, I kind of researched it online how to do it and you had to bring in some like uh, Meguiar's car polish and I got this uh, attachment for a drill to buff it and stuff. So. And one thing that I didn't know too is how the nitro, it chips a little easier than the other paint finishes which is why on those old guitars you see, you know, more dings and, and chips too. But I like that, it kind of gets worn in and broken in. I made some other mods to it, like uh, a new Perloid pick guard, threw in a couple Seymour Duncan hum canceling pickups, because I like to keep it as quiet as possible on stage, so the single coil hum uh, is no good. So these take away that. Um, put on a 50s ashtray bridge with the, they call it a notched flange, so you don't catch your pick on it. And then I put on uh, these compensated brass saddles. And those actually really changed the sound of the guitar way more than I was expecting, but it was really cool. It really adds more of a chime and uh, a brightness to the guitar that I didn't have before. So that was a cool surprise. I threw on Fender F neck plate. Uh, for Obviously F for Fender, but my last name's Fowles, so I love having an F on, on the guitar. And then I rewired the, the circuit here, because I never used the tone knobs. Uh, I always just dial in my tone with the amps and pedals. And when you only have two knobs on a guitar, it made more sense to me to have more control over the volume. So each of these is an independent volume control for each pickup. So this is the volume for the uh, neck pickup. This is the volume for the bridge pickup. So you can turn down one and do that kind of stuttering effect. Or when you're in the middle position, you can blend the two to uh, be able to customize the tone a little more. I also put Jim Dunlop strap locks on. I put those on every guitar right off the bat so you don't lose it on stage. Switched out the input jack for a switchcraft jack just because on the road you're, uh, it gets rode pretty hard. Yeah, so now the tone is um, a lot more alive. Uh, these, especially with the brass saddles, they, they bring out this chime to the guitar that it didn't have before. And these pickups are a little hotter, so they, get, they drive it a little more. I don't use tons of gain on my amps, so a lot of it is coming from the guitar. And so when I have a little hotter pickup, uh, it makes a difference too. Got a new coat of paint and some, some new parts. Yeah, it kind of became my own.